left. Almost every conference in the country is still in the midst of a race to the top, and we've got three games with massive implications. Michigan State tries to do the unthinkable and clinch a tournament berth against their crosstown rival, Michigan. USC tries to knock Arizona out of the Pac-12 race ahead of their game against blood rival UCLA. And in prime time, Duke comes back to Cameron Indoor to try to keep their undefeated season alive against the Syracuse Orange. Every second you're not watching, there's a story you're missing. So what are you waiting for? Let's do this. NCAA 2K20 on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops, plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. Folks, we are in crunch time. This is the most important conference season that has ever existed in college basketball, I think it's safe to say, given uh, the, the small number of at-large bids available to the NCAA tournament. And what we are seeing right now is maybe the best story in college basketball, the Michigan State Spartans. And they are taking on one of their fiercest rivals, the Michigan Wolverines. If the Spartans win today, they clinch an NCAA tournament berth, a, a statement that would have seemed absolutely preposterous just a month ago. This is this is a real interesting one. I went with Michigan. Boom, went Langford. Insane three. Gee, oh, I forgot Romeo Langford's on this team. Josh um, Langford, you mean Josh Langford? Or sorry, Josh. Langford. Get the right, yeah. get the right Langford because he became a star against Michigan last time. If you remember back in episode yeah. five. I, I try not to remember, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> obviously for Michigan State because they can lock things up. If Michigan is uh, wins this game, though, uh, they're still in it. They're still in the race. And considering that Michigan State next episode has to play Purdue, uh, you can go back home with that. Yeah, and I can um, just drain that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michigan certainly has a lot to play for themselves. Yep, we'll get that. Bingham! Uh, Speaking of Purdue, they won earlier against Maryland. Close one, 67-65, but Purdue remains undefeated in conference play, 9-0. They play Michigan State next episode in the final game of the Big Ten season. Purdue has clinched the Big Ten title and in all likelihood a number one seed in the tournament. Nice pass. Yeah, that was a really nice pass. One point, one point game. Neither team going to lap easy. Oh, oh no. Oh, just, what a rebound. I thought he had that. Who was that? that? Who was oh, that? Oh, my God. Who was that? <laughs> He just glided in air. Uh, we should probably we should probably make reference uh, right now and just tell you what's going on uh, before you get too confused. The final week of conference play is coming up next episode, and it will be divided. What a take! It'll be divided into two parts because we'll play the top game from each conference. So three games per part, and every conference, at least as it's looking right now, and obviously scores continue to come in. Every conference has a game that will decide the fate of somebody, it seems. So uh, we'll see games from everyone in our final day. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. The, the, the number of matchups is absolutely insane. Brown, Brown. You're really going to. No yep. way. Yep. No way. <laughs> yep, just take that straight to the oh. cup. Let's get to an update from the non Power 5 conference. Memphis gets back on track with a nine-point win over Colorado State. So Memphis now sitting at 17-1. and one. Um, And, uh, yeah, just getting a little bit of redemption after, after that embarrassing loss last week. And Seton Hall with a big win over Gonzaga. 66-49 is the final. Jared Roden was Seton Hall's top scorer in that game. And Seton Hall's win eliminates Houston. From Unfortunately, the, from conference contention. Oh, come on. And it's not like but, Houston did anything wrong either. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my oh, God. He just here, put it down. Come here, Tillman. You're mine. But I will say, I will say, from Houston's perspective, they beat Villanova today. So they go to 8-9 and nine overall. So an at-large bid is certainly not out of the question right now for no, the Cougars. Certainly not. Especially because, you know, you know they, they've got the biggest win of the season over Memphis. Yeah. 
So. Absolutely. And you know it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy tough for our selection committee. I mean, we yeah we have no idea who's gonna be who's up there who. Oh come on, ham one. Who's up there? Who can? Who's in the talking for it? You know, like the selection committee is gonna have a hard hard time. Cause I feel like those oh, yeah. super teams we're not even thinking of right now. I do not They're envy the selection team. committee's job at all. Trying to weed through all these teams. Winston, yep, yeah, just put oh, Xavier nice Simpson move. on skates. Goodbye, Xavier. Oh. Langford. Langford goes up. No Joshua way. Langford. He's no doing way. it again. He is doing it again. That guy is the bane of my existence. <laughs> Straight up I is the bane of my existence. This from Joshua Langford. Well, here. No yes, way. Yes, what a drive. Can't finish his dinner. Look who it is. No Look way. who it how, is. How does Langford get that rebound <laughs> over three of my guys? It's the dumbest Could it shit. This possibly have been anyone game. else. Yep, and we take it at Langford again. We're, we're... Yep, he's no, out. He's no, out. No, he's out. I literally, no, I literally oh, couldn't. Joshua Langford's done no, it again. No, I literally couldn't do anything. I literally couldn't move. I couldn't pass. It was stuck in that animation cheese. That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, Langford. Langford straight down the lane. You see what this guy does, everyone. I just want everyone watching. <laughs> He abuses and abuses one player. That's it. Look, Langford's got the hot hand. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Michigan State up by three. Yep, Great yep, drive. Yep, yep, Great yep. drive. There's nothing more you can say about that. Working on him there. Yep, we'll give that ball back to Langford. Oh, that oh, should have wow. been stolen. Should have been stolen. All right, I don't know why Bingham's hanging out out there. Langford, no way, no moving way. jumper. Oh, no. Oh, we need something here. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh man. No. I gave... And he shot a win right here. No, I got screamed by my old guy. No. Get out of here! Do you know who that was? I do know who that was. I'm so upset. <laughs> I just... I think I just blew up my mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You actually cannot make this up, what's going on right now. You actually cannot make this up. Nope, nope, no. Winston with the steal! Michigan State's done it! Michigan State has done it! <laughs> Michigan State is going to the tournament! Game two here is equally pivotal in the Pac-12. We just saw Michigan State clinch an NCAA tournament berth, and now... We have a game that could very well decide the fortunes of the Pac-12 between USC and Arizona. Both these teams have been up and down all season long. Uh, if USC wins here, they will clinch themselves an NCAA tournament berth and eliminate Arizona. If Arizona wins, then uh, we got a whole mess of scenarios for the final <laughs> for the final game of the, of the conference season. So uh, buckle up if Arizona starts to pull ahead here. Trojans. We and will keep you updated on the score between conference leader UCLA and Washington right now. Washington has a lead with a few minutes oh, left to that. play. Oh, come on. No, oh, no, no, what the fuck? No <laughs> way! <laughs> oh, excellent release, perfect timing. You'll love to see it. Oh, I am <laughs> so deadly with this USC team for no reason. For literally no reason at all. I'm just filthy with this team. That is, that's actually true, yeah. Well, we're going to see USC at least one more time because we will see them uh, against crosstown rival UCLA during uh, one during one of the parts of our final non of our final conference episodes. Let's remind everyone, and I'm doing this at the expense of myself here, that USC was the team you were using when you beat Texas Tech. I believe the approximate score was about a million to four. <laughs> it was, Rakosevich was just a monster, but it was definitely something like that. It was, it was like 140 <laughs> to set, six, upper 60s. I don't, I, I don't, I don't really want to think about it, but just for your benefit, I'm going to tell you, it was 138 to 66. Yep, yep. Let's bring you an SEC That's score update here. 
the two the, the top two teams in that conference Florida and Kentucky both pick up wins while Tennessee loses to Auburn so uh, nice. Kentucky versus Florida we can confirm will be our game from the SEC in our final week of conference play and uh, that could determine a lot if Kentucky is to win that game they may very well go on to win the conference there's a couple different scenarios that we can talk about uh, when that game happens for what Kentucky needs to do in order to win the conference great steal there but for now all you need to know is Florida and Kentucky next week those are the top two teams in the SEC and that is a really bad miss Get on that man! <laughs> What's going on, Jordan Brown? Oh no! <laughs> I really I'm milked just, that I'm possession. I'm just spamming jump. I really milked that possession. Hey, we've got breaking news here. UCLA, first place in the Ooh. conference, slips up to the Washington Huskies. UCLA goes down. So USC, with a win here, could tie UCLA for first place Ooh, in the conference. Buddy. And remember, that's who we're seeing from the Pac-12. Uh, during our final two episodes. Screen. No, I'm in your face. I'm rotation. literally in your Guess face. Guess who's there? Jordan Brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, use and abuse. Use, use, on the use and abuse team for Griffin here. <laughs> <laughs> I've only played with Arizona twice, I think. Oh, oh, you where got, is oh where's your man? My. Where's your man? Chase Whose Jeter. man is that? Chase Jeter getting Jordan passed. Brown. Oh, my God. And then Mannion makes him pass the ball in. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, that was, that Nico was actually you have savage. done your teammate dirty right there. I, I would have shut up then. I would have. Who am I kidding? It's me. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> so it's worth noting for Arizona, Emmanuel Ako has been hurt for the last few weeks. So that's a key player off the bench that the Wildcats are missing right now. Someone come get your mans. Yeah, deep three. Come on, Williams. Drop it. Throw up the threes. To you as well. Being a UCLA fan, you always want to beat USC. Uh, that is absolutely true. I actually have a shirt. I have a shirt that says my favorite team is UCLA. My second favorite team is whoever's playing USC. <laughs> so that's 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 the, that's the level of rivalry we're talking about right now when it comes to UCLA USC. Oh, what a block! We're playing the lineup chess chess match right now with the stamina and everything. You gonna pass the ball in? Can I pass the ball in? No <laughs> what way! What are you doing? No way! No, no, seriously, I'm pushing A, <laughs> and I say, can I pass the ball in? And it wouldn't let me, and then I pass the ball in, and it says five seconds. That is unreal He's from this game. That is the second time the that's happened. I'm I'm well awake. Man, you catch and shoot, no. Najee, no. Give him another Najee. chance. Give him, I block it. Give him another chance. I Give him a three. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> give him a three game. Absolutely give him a three that he does not deserve at all. We can't be having slop like this. Offensive. Wait. Yes, Wait, who? No, 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 no one was in the paint. What is that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that is that actually for real right now? Uh, guys, go back. Please, someone go back and watch that comment if someone was actually in the paint or not. I need witnesses on this. Brown. No, he's blocked. That's straight That's up. That's not even yeah. who I was supposed to, who I wanted to pass. Ball, that. don't lie. What a rebound. What a rebound and That's a foul. fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is I the game twice now. Wouldn't let me inbound the pass after in the new quarter. That's like the third time that's happened. And then that. No one even in the paint. It was like this. No one was in the paint. Yep, give it to Brown. Give it to Brown. Give it to Brown. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Brown spot up. No way. They got a foul, they got a foul, they got a foul. Oh, I oh, thought you beautiful. just ran out of bounds with that. It's all on the line here. This is Arizona's season. I just no I just took that to an area where I can't see the bar. Brown with the rebound. Get it back out. Get it to someone who can shoot. What are you yes, doing? Yes. What are you Let's doing? Go. Let's go. Why do they keep passing it to guys in the paint? What's wrong with you? Oh, Jordan Brown did everything he could. Our penultimate, the conclusion of our penultimate week of conference play, and we have the uh, the new number one team in the nation, or at least who would be the number one team in the nation, Duke, 
the only undefeated team left, playing Syracuse, who is a team that Duke has already beaten and beaten handily earlier in the year. We actually saw that game when it happened. And so now Syracuse looking for revenge. I'm looking for revenge. I've gotten the ball stolen twice. <laughs> Let's just call it game right now. Let's just call it game uh, right now. Trey Jones has not... Oh, my God. Has what? Trey Jones even, has not what? I don't even <laughs> want to say what I was going to say as a player, but as a broadcaster, I have to. Trey Jones has not been himself the, the past few weeks. Not that he's been bad. He just hasn't been the same Trey Jones that we've come to expect. He's not putting up those gaudy numbers every week that we've come to expect. He's come down to earth a little bit. But now that I say that, he's going to drop 60 on me this game. <laughs> uh, we have two other games that have gone final in ACC play. North Carolina, Florida State, both lock up wins. So uh, what that means doesn't mean much for Duke. Duke has already clinched uh, first place in the ACC. They've already clinched an NCAA tournament berth. Uh, they were the earliest team to do so, actually. Uh, but what that does mean is if Syracuse loses today, we've got a three-way tie for second place. And... Uh, we'll, we'll have to determine what game we're going to show you from the ACC for our final two episodes because it'll either be Syracuse versus Florida State or North Carolina versus Duke. So you want to talk about some high-powered matchups. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we rim. can't even hit the rim. <laughs> rim. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, that's not where that was supposed to go. Oh, Can we get an outlet pass here? All right, put it up. There's no way. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought that that would work in a million years. But you have to try something against Duke. You have to do whatever you can. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Duke, Duke is rated fairly. I mean, it's not like we did this intentionally. Duke probably actually isn't even our best rated team. Uh, actually, I think that's right. I think that's right. Being 100% honest. Um, but it's like turning the sliders all the way to zero for the computer turning everything else up to 99 for you and then just having having a go at the computer that's how <laughs> that's how it feels like to play against duke or to play with duke. Uh, having having played as duke i can confirm that is exactly what that feels like not that i would know what it's like to turn ai sliders all the way down i mean <laughs> Same, i wouldn't know what that's like good d yep, there yep, yep, ref yep. ref yep 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 <laughs> Give me a break right now. Like if Vernon Carey walked into a grocery store and, and just and just took out $100 worth of groceries, does anyone stop him on his way out the door? No. He's just like, hey, Vernon, what's up, man? It's, you want those groceries? All right, I wasn't going to use them anyway. I'll Can the someone lane. please? <laughs> that's bang, it. Bang. I, 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 and that's <laughs> oh, Sidibe doing everything he can, and it's still not enough. I appreciate the effort from Sidibe. I do too. This is effort that I want to see. This is effort that we love to see. You're calling a timeout? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call a timeout. What do you mean? I, I actually hate you. I <laughs> <laughs> we got some breaking news out of the Big 12 we need to share with you. Texas Tech going down in Waco. 68-61 final. They lose to Baylor. Tech is one game out of second place. They play West Virginia next week after Kansas State picks up the win today. So the Big 12 also in turmoil. Big 12 could very well see three teams headed to the NCAA tournament if Kansas State wins next week. They have to play Kansas. Spud it out a little bit. Oh! No! <laughs> okay, okay. Fair play, fair play. Hey, oh. hey, 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 Syracuse showing something right now. It's yeah, so Syracuse, uh, Syracuse at least can can take some some solace in the fact that they kept it close with the – seriously? Do you know what they call people like you? Oh, it was – it wasn't an accident. I can't even. Who can I kid? It wasn't even an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it was full shithousery on purpose. But I'm not going to shoot. I'm not going to shoot. That's just. You're not going to shoot? You take the time out and you're not going <laughs> to shoot? That's even worse! <laughs> uh, I'm oh sorry. Oh my god. 
Oh wow. my god, so many, so many conference races are up for grabs right now. There are two episodes left. We're splitting the final week of conference play into two parts. Each conference will get their top game shown. So make sure you catch both episodes. You'll have to subscribe so you know when they drop. Thank you so much. We appreciate you.